when we read the papers and we see some of the names of our brothers and sisters, we have European names, yeah? Could this be why the Transparency International give to black man and woman such a high corruption perception index? Because we have been corrupted the most. We, it is perceived to them that we have been uh, corrupted the most. Hmm? And the Quran says corruption has appeared on the land sea on account of what man's hands have wrought. Mm. So could this be the reason why, you know, we have given such a corruption perception index? It's a very interesting point. Okay, in the week, I came across a flyer and it was, it was displaying 20 or so female contestants for Miss Jamaica UK. Yeah? And it had all these pictures of the sisters, you know, as they do. <laughs> Vote for me, you know. For Miss, I think it was Miss Jamaica UK, right? Mm. Now, all of the sisters depicted on this flyer, uh, who were obviously desired to represent a black consciousness or a black uh, environment, all of them subscribed to a Eurocentric style of beauty and all of them had a European slave name. Mm. All of them, bar none, you know? And just looking at it, it, it just really dawned on me at that moment. Although, I, you know, we know how damaged we are as a people, but it, it, the, the impact of it actually hit. You know, when you see so many people looking like yourself, you know, representing or so-called representing yourself, but not representing, yeah, misrepresenting, mm. but not because they wanted to misrepresent, mm. but have been absolutely tricked into thinking and seeing that this is normal or the norm. Yeah. So it just, it just really hit me. The impact of it really hit me that this is a massive crime scene that we're looking at on this flyer. Mm. And isn't that, aren't they... Um Aren't those names um, and those those sisters going by those names? Aren't they indications of of them um, not only being victims of identity fraud, mm. but about um, amnesia as well, not knowing mm. who they are? Yeah, yeah. So that's a double crime scene. And in mentioning that it's a victim of amnesia, lack of knowledge of self. Mm. In fact, it's a it's a triple crime scene because we're actually looking at death. Mm. We're looking at death in looking at the, the, the flyers like this. Now, just imagine seeing 20 contestants for Miss Japan UK, whatever that means, right? And all the girls on that flyer had Ghanaian names. Just imagine, you wouldn't see something like that. Have you ever come across anything like that? But to us, it's normal. Mm. It's, it's just the normal. You, we don't even question it when we see it. Mm, but that, that's also an indication of, of, of the damage that's been done to us. There you go. So we are actually, yeah, when we see something like that, we are actually looking at damage. Mm. We're looking at crime that has been committed on a quite a huge scale mm. because we don't even recognise it in truth. Yeah. We don't recognise it as a crime, which is a crime. Those who involve themselves in it don't recognise it as a crime, which is a crime, mm. yeah, on a huge scale. Really, it's also um, an indication of, of um, the, um, the slave master's mindset continuing mm. to live within us, mm. you know, within the female, because um, considering a nation can rise no higher mm. than its woman, if the sisters are, are actually even in mm. that, that, um, that beauty pageant, mm. you know, for them to even be in that beauty pageant, know that they don't know who they mm. are, mm. you know, but to, to be perpetuating somebody else's or the slave master's names within mm. that, it's actually continuing to allow the slave master's mentality and mindset mm. to live mm. within us. Pan-Africanism in a European packaging, or okay. Eurocentric mm. packaging. I think that's how mm. Sister Oneness mm. described it when we were speaking at Black Question Time. Mm? So this is the scene that is being set, and that's why we're looking at scene this week. Crime, scene, investigation. This is the scene that is being set today and it is a scene that we play out every day and we see as the norm, even though it's not normal, it's seen and taken as the norm, yeah? We have no idea who we actually are and our scene is set by us by unseen forces. So we have a scene with a C, E-N-E, mm. scene, view, and the unseen, which sets our scene, Crime scene investigation. Hmm? So as I was saying, it, it, it dawned on me while looking at this flyer that it was a double, triple crime that had been committed. We're at a crime scene. Yeah, We're looking at the flyer. Brothers are looking at the outline. 
the white outline of the sisters. When you go, when you w- watch crime scene investigation, they go on the crime scene, there's a white outline mm. chalked on the ground. Yeah. You know, and it shows the outline of the body mm. and how it fell on the ground. And we are looking at the white outline of our sisters, how they are frozen on the page. Mm. We are looking at how they are fell, how they, you know, are frozen in this position. In death, in truth, it's a crime scene. Hmm? I'm also looking at um, looking at the scene um, from a, a place perspective mm. when you um, when you set the scene for a play and everything's put in place in order for messages to get across. Mm. And I'm thinking about um, the messages that are being put across about the female in those mm. um, in the um, beauty pageants or in those those Miss Jamaica UK, which is um, two different nations yeah. you know and unless, we're not representing any of them in truth yeah but really it's one nation because mm. jamaica is the uk if they're okay. if they're putting it like okay. that Do you want, but that's part of setting the scene they're actually mm. in setting a scene before a play starts you're actually giving messages before mm. the play's actually started and before mm. people start acting mm. you're giving the impression you're giving a specific impressions or you're giving specific signals that you want the people to get mm. and maybe they're doing that on purpose just so that we get specific messages mm. that the, the black female or Miss Jamaica still belongs to the UK. Mm. And maybe that's really what they're saying, that these women still belong to us. Mm. You know, they still carry in our names and they're still carrying our mindsets mm. and they still belong to us. Yeah, and we'll still have the men focusing mm. on that standard of beauty. And that's why um, within the Nation of Islam and when the Honourable Elijah Muhammad and Minister Farah Khan came, when in, in Minister Farah Khan teaching us, he's teaching us to come out of that way of dressing, mm. come out of that way of thinking, come out of that way of behaving, because that shows that we don't belong to them anymore. Mm. We don't belong to the UK. Our, our, we come out of their name. Mm. We come out of their style of dressing. Mm. We don't dress the way that they dress anymore. Mm. We don't dress the way that that white outline is given to mm. us by the Caucasian. Chalked outline. Exactly. We don't have that. Remember so they used to call us chalky. <laughs> yeah, but that's also um, they're all also like cookie cutters, yes. aren't they? Those outline yes. things. They're they're like biscuit mm. um, cutters. Mm. And what we do when we come out of that style of dress, mm. when we come out and co- start covering our hair, when we start speaking differently, when we start training and studying differently, we're coming away from that. So we stop belonging to them, mm. and that's how we come out of the death style and into a lifestyle. And you start changing the scene. Mm. The scene, brothers and sisters. This is what we're looking at. You know, the Honourable Elijah Muhammad, he taught us whoever controls the diameter of our thinking, he prescribes the circumference of our really our growth and development. He prescribes the, the our movements, mm. uh, the amount of movement that we have or the limited movement that we have. He prescribes our scene. Isn't that, is that something? Because mm. I'm thinking about the plantation as well, the killing fields. Mm. You know, we call it the plantation.